Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a friend Liana on Telegraph channel uh, regarding the monopoly. The question is like this. Suppose a monopoly market faces a demand curve given by, that is we have the monopoly demand curve as Q is equal to 20 minus P uh, bracket 1 plus 0.1A minus 0.01A square, where A is the advertisement p is the price q is the quantity and we are being given the total cost function is c is equal to 10q plus 15 plus a what output level will be chosen if the firm chooses its optimal level of advertising expenditure so we need to see the level of output when the firm is uh, uh, rather this monopoly market is uh, using the optimal uh, level of advertising expenditures. The options are Q is equal to 3, Q is equal to 6.05 or Q is equal to 90.75. So let's see how to solve this question. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to find the uh, that is the profit function. Okay. We know uh, that profit is given by profit is simply equal to uh, P price into quantity minus cost okay total cost okay this is the uh, profit function so let us see what is uh, p so we will uh, write p as it is and what is q q is being given us here that is q is equal to 20 minus uh, p okay uh, 20 minus p and we have this 1 uh, plus 0 0.1 a minus 0.01 a square okay this is our price into quantity to this we subtract the total cost total cost is this very thing so when we subtract this will become uh, 10 q uh, minus 15 because this uh, minus will be uh, subtracted to each of these terms and then we have minus a okay this is the profit function for the market monopoly market okay now what we need to do here so first uh, let us uh, try to uh, solve this out uh, first then we will use the first order conditions okay so uh, we can write it like this we have p then we have 20 minus p okay so we have 1 uh, plus 0 0.1 a minus 0 0.01 a square okay then we have minus uh, 10 so in place of q we will write this again so we have uh, 20 minus p uh, then we have this 1 uh, plus 0 0.1 a minus 0 0.01 a square okay and uh, obviously then we have minus 15 and then we have minus a okay and this 10 is multiplied uh, to these very terms so i will use this very bracket here okay now when we uh, solve this out okay when we uh, solve this out what will uh, we get here we will uh, get let me write it here so i have no space so uh, let me try to figure out if i can solve it uh, further so if we take uh, 20 minus p and this very term this very term common okay so uh, what uh, will be we uh, left with so uh, let me take this out uh, 20 minus p uh, then we have 1 plus 0 0.1 a minus 0 0.01 a square i'm just trying to uh, factor uh, out this very term this very term okay so what we will be uh, left with we are left with p minus 10 so i will write here p minus 10 i hope i am making myself clear here so i have just taken this term and this term out okay and then we are left p minus 10 and obviously we have then minus 15 minus a okay this is our profit function okay uh, let's uh, rearrange this uh, further so we can write it like this we can write it like this 20 minus p we have p minus 10 
then we have 1 uh, plus 0.1a minus 0.01a square okay then we have minus 15 minus a okay this is our profit function okay now uh, what we uh, need to do here we just need to use the first order conditions for profit maximization so we are uh, here we have two first order conditions because we have two variables here we have p and a so there will be two first order conditions okay so i will write here uh, we have uh, two first order conditions here okay that is we need to differentiate this profit function partially first uh, with respect to p and set it equal to zero and after that we again need to partially differentiate this very profit function with respect to a and set it equal to zero okay so first order condition that means the first first order condition will be that we take the derivative of uh, our profit function with respect to a or uh, with respect to p first okay and set it equal to zero okay so uh, how can we take the derivative here so since we are we have to take the derivative with respect to p so uh, let us rearrange this again so 20 minus p into p minus 10 what it uh, what it comes out to be so we have 20 minus p and uh, p minus 10 let us solve this uh, first so we have here 20 p minus uh, 200 20 into 10 is 200 then we have minus p into p is p square okay then we have minus into minus is plus so we have 10 p okay if we solve this out this will come out to be 20 uh, plus 10 is 30 p so we have 30 p 30 uh, p uh, mm, minus p square minus 200 okay so uh, uh we can write uh, i would uh, in place of this very thing so let me write it here uh, to make it more uh, clear here so in place of this we can write 30 p minus p square uh, minus 200 okay and then we have 1 plus 0 0.1 a minus 0 0.01 a square then we have minus 15 minus a okay so first order condition uh, for profit exam uh, profit maximization will require that we uh, take the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to price and set it equal to zero okay so uh, the derivative of p will be one so we are left with 30 okay derivative of p square is r uh, 2p so we have 2p and derivative of constant will be zero and since no this thing is assumed to be constant here because we are partially differentiating with respect to p so no p is involved in these very terms so they will remain uh, uh, rather they will be equal to zero so since we take the derivative here we are left with one uh, plus zero uh, point one a okay minus zero point zero one because this term is multiplied to the, uh, these terms here okay that is why we need to write it first and the derivative of minus 15 which is constant is 0 and the derivative of a will be 0 because we are partially differentiating with respect to p and we need to set it equal to 0 okay i hope i am making myself clear now what we will do we will just uh, transpose this term to rhs it will get divided so 0 divided by this very term so let me write it here so we are 30 minus 2p is equal to 0 upon this term that is 1 plus 0 0.1 a minus 0 0.01 a square okay so we have which implies a uh, 30 minus 2 p 0 upon this term is equal to 0 which implies uh, 2 p is equal to 30 which will give us uh, p is equal to if we transpose it will get divided so 30 divided by 2 is 50 and so our optimal p that is price will be 15 but uh, we don't uh, need actually the price we have to see what will be our equilibrium quantity okay so first order condition for profit maximization was this second first order condition is so this was first let me write here this is first order condition for profit maximization is first is this very second is that we need to 
partially differentiate our um, profit function with respect to a and set it equal to zero okay so this is our um, what we call uh, this is our um, profit function we need to differentiate with respect to a this time okay so uh, we have first 30 p minus p square minus 200 since we are partially differentiating with respect to uh, a this time so we don't need to do anything with these terms so then we have the derivative of constant will be zero the derivative of a is one so we are left with a uh, 0 0.1 then we have minus the derivative of a square is 2 a so 2 into 0 0.01 this will become 0 0.02 a okay and the derivative of constant is one uh, zero the derivative of a will be one so we have minus one and we set it equal to zero okay or we can uh, write it like this we have um, what we can do here uh, we can just uh, write it like this zero uh, point or uh, we what will we do we have just uh, calculated the value of p okay we will uh, put p is equal to 15 in this equation to get the optimal level of uh, expenditure first that is a okay uh, i repeat as uh, we have calculated p we need to put p is equal to 15 in this equation so let me write this is equation first let us put uh, put uh, p is equal to 15 in uh, equation first okay so if we uh, put the value of p is equal to 15 uh, in this equation what will uh, we get here so we have 30 so i will write here we have 30 in place of p we have 15 okay then we have minus uh, p square that is 15 square uh, minus 200 okay then we have uh, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2a and we will uh, what we call uh, we will transpose this minus 1 to rhs so this will become plus 1 here okay so let's uh, try to figure this out what will it come out to be uh, the 15 into 30 this will come out to be panda panda gay truth panda gay pan that is 450 minus 15 15 are go mesh the 15 15 are 5 5 are 25 5 1 are 5 uh, 6 7 we have 5 1 that is 5 south pans gay bar after is so that is uh, 2 25 minus 200 okay then we have 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 a and which is equal to 1 okay so we have so 450 minus 200 you go you go that go so run hot and wallow is dying 450 minus that so go die hat so this is two let me write it here uh, first 450 then we subtract 200 so we have 0 for you 250 then we subtract 225 so we will be left out with the past the pass so I will get here is the value okay yes yeah, sorry for my dialect I am using the Kashmiri dialect also here so we will get here 25 okay so that means uh, we have 25 0.1 uh, we have it can be written as like this uh, 1 upon 10 minus this can be written as 2 upon 20 a is equal to 1 okay, then we have um, we can write it like this 1 upon 10 minus uh, sorry it is here 0 0.02 so I forgot to write 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.02 okay so this will become 2 upon 10th okay so we have 1 upon 10 minus 2 upon 100 a is equal to 1 upon if we transpose it will get divided okay so 
let's further solve this out so if we take this here it will become positive 2 upon 100 a is equal to 1 upon 10 transposing this 1 upon 25 okay so this will come out to be 25 minus 10 comes out to be punsan varudha that is equal to panda okay so we have panda upon die has 250 okay which implies a is equal to 15 upon 250 okay transposing this term it will become 100 upon 2 so 0 0 gets cancelled uh, we have <coughs> Uh, we have two ones are two two fives are ten five ones are five fives are twenty five so we have fifteen divided by five which will get fifteen divided by five which comes out to be uh, three okay that means our optimal level of expenditure will be three okay so that was the question that uh, we were uh, being targeting to to find the optimal level of advertisement and now why uh, what we need to do we need to find the output level uh, that we will choose if the firm chooses it is optimal level of advertising expenditure so optimal level of advertising expenditure is equal to three okay so what will be our optimal level of uh, optimal level of uh, output so our optimal level of output will be simply simply if we plug uh, if we plug the value of a is equal to 3 p is equal to 15 in our demand function so this is our demand function okay our original demand function so uh, i will write here uh, put uh, p is equal to 15 and a is equal to 3 in demand function demand function to get the optimal level of output okay so this is our demand function so we have q is equal to so we have 20 minus p we calculated the value of p as 15 okay then we have uh, 1 plus uh, 0.1 in place of 0.1 so i can write 1 upon 10 a is 3 so i will write here 3 then we have minus and uh, 0.01 i can write 1 upon 100 into a square that means 3 square here oh, okay 3 square is 9 okay that is equal to 9 and when we solve this uh, minus panda it will come out to be pass that is 5 <laughs> then we have 1 plus 3 upon 10 uh, minus 9 upon 100 okay when we solve this it will come out to be uh, if we solve this here so let me write it here so this is uh, 10 ones are so we have actually 5 then we have uh, 10 ones are 10 the the drag is through uh, that is 13 divided by 10 minus 9 upon 100 okay so if we make the denominator same we need to multiply with 10 in the denominator and in the numerator also so this will become 130 minus 9 okay so we have 5 130 upon 100 minus 9 upon 100 so we uh, the denominator is, is same we can subtract the numerator now uh, 5 this will come out to be 5 uh, 130 minus 9 is 1 to 1 upon 10 sorry 100 which will come out to be uh, 5 into 1.21 okay so this will come out to be 5 into 1.21 and it comes out to be uh, 6.6.05 uh, 6 okay that means optimal level of output that will be produced when the firm is using the optimal level of advertising expenditure will be 6.05 so the correct option should be this b option i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you